Hello, and thank you for viewing our talk, Image Morphing with STN Alignment and Perceptual Constraints. I'm Noah Fish, and this is joint work with Richard Chang, Nilach Perry, Daniel Cohen Orr, Eli Schechtman, and Connelly Barnes. In image morphing, endpoint images are processed to generate a sequence of transformation between them, consisting of changes in shape and texture. Classically, operations of warping and crossfading are employed upon the inputs to synthesize in between frames, ultimately providing a sequence of transformation. Bringing both images into a halfway domain facilitated more dramatic transitions that are both realistic and smooth. With the help of a collection of images that allow for smooth traversal via visually similar instances, a sequence of transitions depicting large pose changes can be achieved. Latent spaces formed by generative neural networks allow for smooth interpolations, but those are limited to regions of the latent space that the generator has mastered and are often unable to faithfully reconstruct existing instances that may be given for interpolation. In this work, we wish to utilize large collections of images in a conditional GAN framework to learn how to transition between given instances. We identify three basic characteristics that are crucial for a convincing morphing effect. First, we require that the generated in-between instances appear to be realistic and portray objects that could pass as valid members of the given class. Second, the transition from instance to instance must be smooth to create a visually pleasing effect. And finally, endpoint instances must adhere to the given source and target images in order to bootstrap the generation of the entire sequence. We devise a generative framework with different components to target the aforementioned requirements. The generative adversarial setting is a well-known method to train a system that is able to synthesize diverse instances from a given target distribution. Aiming for realistic in-between frames, we employ a conditional GAN setting. Given two endpoint images as input, as well as a desired frame timestamp that determines the position of the output frame within the morphing sequence, we pass the inputs through a generator composed of an encoder followed by a decoder. The decoder outputs a frame, which is passed on to a discriminator to be evaluated as either real or fake. In support of the second requirement of smooth transitions, rather than generating a single frame, we expand into generating a sequence of frames in one go. We apply a perceptual loss among the generated frames, designed to control the visual change as a function of the elapsed time between the frames. We define the total perceptual distance between a source and a target as the distance between their VGG features. The perceptual distance between two adjacent frames is similarly defined. Thus, the perceptual loss incurred for an adjacent pair of frames is the distance between the observed perceptual distance and the expected relative distance as dictated by the elapsed time. The third and final requirement stipulates that sequence endpoints remain faithful to the given inputs. Therefore, a simple reconstruction loss is employed to bootstrap timestamp 0 to the source and timestamp 1 to the target. Having dealt with the three basic characteristics, we often find that the source and target shapes differ substantially in their overall silhouette, which makes it difficult for the generator to figure out a plausible in-between shape. 
We deal with this issue by prepending a spatial transforming component that performs grid-based freeform deformation. This network receives as input the two images concatenated channel-wise and outputs a warp grid. The source image is warped according to this grid, and the result is compared to the target image via a perceptual similarity loss that focuses only on the overall shape and overlooks the final details. An identity loss prevents the grid from overwarping. We use this component by computing two warps, one from source to target and another from target to source. We then generate a series of partial warps, such that each corresponds to one timestamp within a morphing sequence. The original source can be seen at the top left, followed by a series of warp versions that gradually transform into a shape that is similar to the target. The reverse transformation from target to source appears at the bottom, starting from the right. Here are three examples for gradual warping results on different categories. To further improve our system, we incorporate an adaptive instance normalization unit designed to blend the image statistics of the two inputs according to the desired timestamp. The mean and standard deviation of the feature maps of the source and target are computed, and are blended as shown here as a function of the time t. The feature maps of the two are then adjusted based on the blended statistics. The overall architecture of our system is shown here. The inputs are passed through the STN component to produce a series of partially warped versions. Each image passes through the encoder, at the end of which the adaptive instance normalization component blends in the statistics of the feature maps of corresponding pairs. The adjusted feature maps of each pair are concatenated and are passed through the decoder to obtain the corresponding frames. The system is trained end-to-end, -end, supported by the STN losses and the adversarial reconstruction and perceptual similarity losses. We conducted an ablation study to highlight the contribution of the various components within our pipeline. We generated a set of morphing sequences for each of the four categories, such that each pair of source and target were selected at random from a separate test set. The table up top details the FID scores of the generated images per ablated version. A qualitative example is also shown. Notice how the no-GAN version produces less realistic and somewhat lackluster airplanes. The versions with no perceptual similarity produce in-between frames that lack details. The no reconstruction version completely disregards the target shape, and the no other inversion also shows a clear preference for the source over the target. Finally, the version lacking the STN component severely struggles to produce a realistic change in shape along the transformation. We compare our approach to our baseline, a classic morphing technique by Liao et al., and a latent space interpolation using WGAN-GP. Our baseline is a linear blending based on our spatial transformer component. That is, each in-between frame is a linear blend of the corresponding partially warped inputs. In terms of FID scores, the classic technique of Liao et al. achieves the best performance, followed by the linear blend baseline. These two methods produce a sequence of images that are a direct warp of the inputs and do not generate image information from scratch, as opposed to the generative-based methods. Therefore, the FID metric naturally recognizes the larger similarity between the image statistics of the directly warped images and the input set. Qualitatively, we note that under large differences in shape silhouette, 
the competing methods sometimes fail to compute a valid warp, resulting in noticeable blending artifacts. Please refer to the paper for a user study report. Classically, a morphing effect showcases a single direction transformation along the time axis. We notice that our system is composed of building blocks that allow for a rather straightforward two-directional transformation along two axes, one for style, which is the texture, and the other for content, which is the shape. To generate such morphing effects, we control the extent of contribution of style elements from each of the two inputs by regulating the adaptive instance normalization and the global perceptual similarity. The shape elements are regulated by the spatial transformer and the local perceptual similarity. More details can be found in the paper. Let's look at some results. In conclusion, we presented a conditional GAN framework for image morphing that generates a sequence of frames in one go, relying on a set of losses that promote smoothness of transitions and realistic appearances. Our system makes use of a prepended spatial transformer component for initial image alignment. Thanks for watching.